Now let's have an example on uh, over current relay. We have an uh, inverse definite minimum time, which means it is an inverse, then converts to a definite minimum time. Uh, over current relay is used to protect a feeder through a 500 to 1 ampere CT or a current transformer. So the current transformer converts the 500 ampere into 1 ampere. This is its own ratio. The relay has a black setting equal 125%. So what does this mean? This means that our uh, black setting or our uh, relay will operate at 1.25 of the rated ampere of the CT. Okay, and TMS or the time multiplier setting equal 0.3. Find the time of operation of this relay if a fault current of 5000 ampere flows through the feeder. And use this following table in order to find the time. So we need to understand or find the time at which our relay will start to operate. So we have the black setting multiplier equal to 358 different values which means that it's two times the, rate, the pickup current three times pickup current five times pickup current and so on and the time for tms equal one remember tms equal one here okay at the maximum distance it will take here to 10 seconds 60 seconds 4.5 seconds and so on remember that here tms equal one and the required is tms equal 0.3 so what are we going to do? We have a fault current of 5000 ampere. Now this fault current will be taken first by the CT. So the CT will step down this current from 5000 to a certain value. What is this value? Let's go and see. First, the current flowing through the relay will be equal to the fault current multiplied by the CT ratio. So it will be 5,000 multiplied by, it steps down there, 500 to 1. So it will be 5,000 to 500. Okay, so uh, over 500. Uh, so the current flowing inside the relay will be 10 ampere. This is the current or the fault current in case of the relay flowing inside the relay. Okay, now the second thing we would like to uh, understand, we have now the current flowing through the relay. Now, what do we need in order to use this table? We need the black setting multiplier. And the black setting multiplier will be equal to the fault current over big up current. So we need big up current. So you see that here the relay has a black setting 1.25. Okay, this value is value of 1 ampere, 125% of the secondary of the CT. So the big up current will be black setting multiplied by rated CT or the secondary of the CT. So 1.25 multiplied by 1 ampere give us 1.25 ampere. So we have big up current at the relay side, the uh, relay current of the fault current, okay, at the relay side also 10 ampere. So what is the thing remaining? We need the black setting multiplier. So the black setting multiplier will be equal to the value of current, which is 10 ampere over the big up current in order to get the black setting multiplier. So 10 over 1.25 will give us 8 ampere, uh, not 8 ampere, 8 times, okay? Ampere over ampere give us no unit. So this, what does this mean? It means that the value of current is 8 times the big up current. Okay, so now we have the black setting multiplier. Let's get back to the table. So uh, here from this table, the add black setting multiplier of 8, the value of time is equal to 3.2. So the time for black setting multiplier 8, the time equal to 3.2 seconds. Now the question is, is this time the required time or not? Is this the value at which the relay operates or not? The answer is no. Why? Because this table is at TMS uh, or time multiplier setting of 1. 
However, the required is a TMS equal to 0.3. So what are we going to do? We are going to multiply the TMS here 0.3 by 3.2 seconds. So the actual operating time will be equal to the time which is 3.2 second multiplied by TSM or the uh, time sitting multiplier or time multiplier sitting 3.2 multiplied by 0.3 give us 0.96 second. So this is the actual time taken by the in order to clear the 5000 ampere volt current.